Okay, we are going to look at the center of mass of a non-uniform rod. Now, for our AP test, we're not going to have to go into the Y direction or the Z direction. We're only going to do one-dimensional objects. So we have a long, thin rod, and it has a varying density. Kind of strange, but that's our first step into this type of continuous object center of mass type of problem. So, our equation for the center of mass is similar to our point mass one, but kind of a little different. So on the bottom, I have the integral from 0 to L, where 0 is the start of my rod, L is the length of the rod, times the linear of the linear mass density dx. Now linear mass density, we give the symbol lambda to. This tells me basically how dense is, how does the density of the rod change with its length or its position. And then we have the same thing. So the bottom is the mass of the rod. And the top is going to be x times the mass of the rod. Okay. So this is our equation. Okay. Again, if you just needed to find the mass of a non-uniform rod, you would just be using this thing on the bottom here. Okay. So we're going to use this equation to go ahead and find the center of mass. And the example I'm going to do here is a rod with a linear mass density of 2x cubed. So let's go ahead and try that out. So xcm is going to be the integral from 0 to L of x times 2x cubed dx divided by the integral from 0 to L, well, like where L is the length of the rod. So they give you an L value here. This makes this a little easier. You can just type it into a calculator. Um, but typically they won't. So we'll have an L, and then on the bottom I'm just going to have my 2x cubed dx. So we go ahead and we take that integral, and so we're left with 2 fifths, and then we'll just do our uh, definite integral, so I got L and 0, so I'm just going to get 2 fifths L to the 4th minus 0, all divided by, on the bottom I get 2 fourths L to the, oops, this is L to the 5th, I'm sorry, L to the 5th divided by L to the 4th, you'll notice we get some things to cancel out, L to the 4th gets rid of those 4, I got a 2 and a 2, so I'm left with 4 fifths L. So at 80%, the length of the rod is the location of the center of mass of that rod, regardless of its length. Okay, so this is kind of a generic solving method. So if my rod was, say, 5 meters long, uh, 4 fifths would just give me 